how to create a donut shape in Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CC220, but you could use 219, 218, etc. First thing to do, go to the ellipse tool found in the toolbar and go with shape and set the fill and set it to a gradient. I'm going to use a brown gradient in the photographic toning. You may or may not have that. If you don't, create it or go to window menu, select gradients and go to the panel. If you just use the restore gradient option, that doesn't bring back the legacy gradients. So you need to go to that gradients panel. It is a pity that for some weird reason, Photoshop doesn't have the legacy gradients already accessible. Go to the right side menu, select the legacy gradient option, and that will bring in all your earlier gradients, the 2019, 2018, etc. So you can now go back to the fill and select that gradient in your panel. Set the fill, just change the stops. Gonna use radial, but just move them around. So what you want is a nice bright, maybe brown or slightly off-white in the center. You can just tweak it. You can see it in the preview. Just move them around. Once you've done that, you can then apply it. Apply a vector circle. The document I'm using is 1,600 by 1,600. But of course, you could create something 4,000 by 4,000, but then scale things up for that. To make a circle, always hold down the shift key. When you create the inner part of the donut, holding the shift key it down initially will cause a problem. It will add to the shape. Doesn't look like a donut yet. I'm now gonna create another circle. Start drawing the circle, but then hold down the shift key. If you do it before, it will just add it to the existing design. I want to subtract from it. So apply it and then hold the shift. Select both of the shapes. You can then align them using the top bar. Of course, you may not need to do that, but I do. So just align it so you've got horizontal and vertical exactly. Go to the layer menu and combine shapes and subtract front shape. You've got a ring shape, a donut looking shape. Go back to the ellipse tool found in the toolbar. Go to the fill at the top of the application. Click on that to see all the presets, etc. You can continue to tweak the gradient. Click the button to reverse all the stops. So the light edge will go into the center. You can, of course, still continue to tweak it. You can modify the stops. So you can add a nice highlight to your donut, sort of frost into it. So the stop you really need to move is the brighter stop. You can, of course, tweak all of the other stops if you wish. Maybe make the edge a bit darker. Up to you. Of course, you could always use a pattern instead of that. Maybe import a pattern of an actual service of a donut. That's always a possibility as well. Take a photograph, import it, and use it as a pattern. I now want to rasterize the design. I want to apply some additional designs to it. So go to the layer menu and rasterize the layer. Layer menu and rasterize and select the layer option. Now it's just a normal pixel layer. Go to the select menu and load selection. The channel setting set to ellipse two transparency. Click OK. You have the selection for the donut. I want to add some sprinkles. So I'm going to go to another document, go to the rectangle tool, create a very, very small rectangle. It's going to be a vector shape set in the top left. This time I'm going to fill it with a gray gradient. You can see that in the gradients panel. If you're using an earlier version of Photoshop, the gradients panel will be slightly different, but you should still be able to find a basic black to white gradient. Now use reflective. Set the angle to zero. I want a black and white black gradient with that white line in the center. In this case, I need to reverse the gradient, just the gradient I chose. Of course, you can continue to tweak the actual gradient as well. So if you want to modify it slightly, but gray is 
going to be best for this. With this design, what you want to do is you want to define it as a pattern. Also, you want to remove the background so it's nice transparency. Go to the Windows menu and Layers. Go to the background layer and delete it. Click Yes. You don't want the entire document, so use the rectangular marquee tool. Select that design. Create it very close to the actual block and then go to the Edit menu and Define Pattern. Give it a name and click OK. It is now stored as a pattern preset. Go back to the donut. Now you've got a selection around that shape. So any applied fill will only be within that region. So edit menu and fill, go to the pattern option, go to random fill and script on, and also select your pattern, the one you just created. Once you've added that sprinkle, click okay. Set the density value to a fairly low density. You don't want it completely filled with sprinkles. Or maybe have a low scale setting, depends on the actual document. So you might have to tweak that and also set the rotate pattern on. So fill your hundreds and thousands, set the color randomness to, to the max. Click OK. And then you've got your sprinkles. They've been added to your donut. You could of course use any other design for the sprinkles. You can now copy the design, maybe recolor it, etc. Maybe paste it multiple times, perhaps copy it into the library. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Always add new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, Finity Photo, and many others. Please add some comments. Always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.